Good morning everybody, welcome to my creative time with Emma and also welcome to my favorite day, Tag It Tuesday. For those of you who have been following me from the beginning, I love to make tags. So I'm super excited about today. So today we are creating a tag using these, I don't have the package for this right now, but this is um, just the layering dies called Just Tags. We're using those. Um, and then we're using um, my favorite, You Make Life Sweet. Um, and we're using this one right here. Here's the scoop. You are awesome. Along with the dies. We're using this die um, along with this die. We're not going to use the stamps this time because there is a stamp version. Somebody had actually emailed me. They were confused on. There's like the outline. That's the outline of the die that goes with the actual. goes with that one. And then there's another outline of the die that goes with that one. But I had also included the dies only so if you don't want to do the stamping you could just go ahead and just do the die cutting only like we're going to do here today so for today i am going to be using my misty um, but before i forget i need to grab that other ink really quick hold on one second okay i went to go grab my archival ink this time i did not even though i love the versafine but I didn't want to heat set it on because I'm using pattern paper. Now, basically, the pattern paper I'm using are just little little bits and pieces I found in my stash. So I'm hoping they, they coordinate well together. I hope they, they looked good together. So hopefully the final product looks nice. But I didn't, since I'm stamping on to some pattern paper, I didn't want to have to heat dry it with my heat tool when I use that VersaFine only because um, I don't want to warp the paper because it is a thin you know, a little bit thinner version of this, um, of the pattern paper that we're using here today. So this is the pattern paper right here. Hopefully you could see that. Um, so what I want to do is I want to stamp you are, here's the scoop, you are awesome, right along the side. Hopefully that's straight enough. Um, if it's not, it's, it's no big deal. Hold on, let me just kind of test it one more time. Um... It's a teeny bit off. Okay, I know. I could, this since it's gonna go right up along the edge, I kind of want to make sure it is good. Let's see. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna grab my little T ruler and make sure we just lined it up perfectly, like so. Okay. I'm not sure actually no, I'm not sure if I should do it like this. No, I think we'll just keep it this way better. I'm sorry. So sorry, decisions, decisions. Okay. Okay, that's gonna be the best we could do. If it's a little off, it's okay. I'm not gonna worry about it. It's not gonna be the end of the world. Okay, so now that we got that on there, I'm going to go ahead and just ink up my stamp using my favorite archival ink. And what I like about this is that you could stamp it a couple of times. Like saying, for example, like I could see right now I didn't ink it up very good. If you don't ink it up very good, you could go ahead and just go stamp it a second time. So let's see how I did here. See, I didn't, I knew I didn't, where it says here's the scoop. That's the part I need to, actually, that's really cute. That's the part I have to ink up a little bit better. So let's go this way instead. Just to make sure. Get rid of that. Good thing I have a black shirt on. <laughs> so I can wipe it right on my t-shirt. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and just do that. Perfecto. I love it. Okay, so now that we have, that's the only stamping we are doing today. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'll just have to remember I have that stamp in there. Okay, so now, oh, did I do it right? Oh, God, I thought I did it wrong. Okay, this is the bottom layer. Okay, I almost freaked out for a quick moment there. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and just use some of this. Some I am. I will pop up this layer. Um, let me grab some scissors. 
let's see. Let's kind of measure this a tad. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and pop this layer up so it won't be so, you know, flat down. Let's see. I'm going to put this one in the center better. Put this one right in the center. And then we'll put, we'll go ahead and cut one more. Of course, this probably could have just used two, but you know me, I don't like anything falling off if I were to send this off or put this on a gift for someone, I kind of want all of my stuff to stay intact. So, this right there. And then what I'm going to do with these little extra pieces here, I don't want to waste them. Let's go ahead and just put this right up there. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and take all these off. So if those of you who are new to this channel, you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, she just wasted <laughs> all of that adhesive. But I don't consider it a waste. I consider it being extra cautious to make sure this thing stays. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so now um, here goes the little ice cream cone that I cut out. And here goes the little ice cream actually so this kind of goes like that so let me go ahead and grab my little multi multi medium mat and put it on there and I'm gonna because everybody's thinking what is that little triangle for basically what I did it designed it like that because you see how this kind of goes down like that and we wanted to make sure Oops. it went down perfectly for it to fit there okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and I was should I put the little um, you know what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and put some pop dots behind there really quick right now before I forget all right let's go ahead and put one and uh, yes I am gonna use a lot here too <laughs> All right, and then I'll probably use a smaller one down there. Right there, okay. So I'm wondering if, you know what, I'm just gonna leave it. I was gonna put a little there. It comes with like a little smiley face. I'm just gonna leave it alone, to be honest with you. Um, and now what we're gonna do, for my little cherry, if you were to cut it out, it is just all one piece. So I cut it out in two different uh, colors of uh, pattern paper. It should be powder paper. I just caught the the solid pieces of it. So I, I cut it out once with that brown and then once in that this color and then I cut out the little stem you know so the stem could be brown on it. So we're just going to go ahead and just put this down. You know what? Let me use some tweezers better. Oh here goes these. Thought I lost this set of tweezers. Let's go ahead and put this here because I'm not sure how. I don't want to cover up any of the sentiment on here. Okay, now I'm thinking maybe I will add that um, that little the little face on there that comes with here it goes right here. I think I will. I'm just going to do it before I change my mind. Um, let me find a little tiny block. I'm just trying to make sure I have... Let me just make sure... Oh, perfect. See where I put that that little um, thing right now? If I were to just put one here, one here, if I were to try and stamp it, it wouldn't be even. So since I have one right in the center, it's going to be perfect. So when I stamp on it, it'll have something in the back. So let's just pray the stamps good um because this is a pattern paper too no it doesn't look like it but this is all actually pattern paper so let's go ahead and just do this here perfect okay good i'm so excited actually no i'm glad i did that okay i wasn't too sure at first but then the 
the sentiment was, you know, since it's black, it was a little harsh. So I figured, you know what, we have to do something to kind of offset that. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and take these off like so. Go ahead and put that like that. Isn't that cute? I actually just came out really cute. I wasn't sure how this was going to work out. So you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking um, I should, I'm trying to think for the string. Let me grab something really quick. Okay, I figured let's go ahead and just use this red string here. Um, this one I actually had on my desk. It might be a little bit too big, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and just push this through here. And all we have to do is just trim it down. I figure we use that since this is not quite red, but it's almost red. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and add some a little bit of Winka Stella to this. Kind of darken it up some. Okay, and give it a little bit of shimmer. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and also add some glossy accents to it to make it shiny. Okay, and I think that is all I'm going to do with this. I'm not even going to add any sequins because I think it came out. I think it actually looks pretty cute because I put the sentiment down the side. And I think it looks cool. So anyways, everyone, that is it for my quick tag for you. Um, don't forget to visit my blog at www.creativetimeforme.com to see what the rest of my awesome design team has made for you today. Um, and also don't forget to visit their blogs to leave them some love as well. Okay, everyone. So thank you so much for tuning in. Have a fabulous day and I will see you back here tomorrow. Bye-bye.